How will the role of the second tier of Avengers shift during Civil War and in the next Avengers movie? Well, look at everything's finite, right? Like nothing can last forever. So you have to, it's cyclical. So there are going to be some new Avengers in phase four where uh, become prominent and, and, uh, and then maybe some Avengers you know, might not be around anymore. So we'll see uh, uh, how else plays out. But you have to, uh, you have to, um, uh, you have to treat every character uh, uh, with respect. And you want to make sure, I think it's more interesting, if I've seen four or five movies with a, a, a lead, lead character having an arc, I want to see some storytelling from some of the secondary characters because uh, and we were, we're focusing on that right now in Infinity War while we're breaking those movies, just talking about which characters can we pull to the forefront who, who potentially haven't had their, their, their own A story arc up to this point. And so I think you'll see that the, that the supporting uh, Avengers are, are going to start to become primary Avengers. And what characters are those? Start asking us one by one. As stories <laughs> are no. I mean, as storytellers and filmmakers, look, we try to give a lot of love to everybody, all the characters, because, you look, we, we always reflect on the idea that, you know, whatever character happens to show up on the screen at any given moment, there's somebody in the audience in that theater, that's their favorite character. You know, and that's why they came to the movie, to see that character. So, it's like, even, even with the characters that have limited screen time, we always work really hard to find something special and fun, just to, just to pay off that sense of like anticipation in terms of what you're looking for with that character. So, it's, it's hard, but there's a lot of, you know, it's part of the fun as well as filmmakers to, to do that for us. For all you Agent Sitwell fans out there. <laughs>